Hi, so this is the second half of my diet video. Um, sorry about the first half, I'm not quite sure what happened. And I'm not too sure how to patch videos together, so it's just going to be two halves. So in this half I'm going to talk about um, what I add to my diet, other than like my homemade mix. Um, and I just want to add that um, what I'm feeding now will obviously alter, as because my hamsters and gerbils are only young, and they are still growing, and they've got a lot of growing left in them really. I mean, especially the gerbils, so... It will alter and change, and um, but this is just my gerbils diet right now. It's obviously not perfect. There's a lot of tweaking to do and things like that. So yeah, this is what else um, I add to the diet. Either Some of it's on a daily basis, but I'll talk you through it. So for now, the gerbils get this on a daily basis because I am trying to bulk the weight up. And um, in my opinion, Cheerios are like pretty much if you're gonna I mean most people will feed these to the kids every day for breakfast so why not give it to your gerbils um, in that respect you know if they are good enough for um, children children like your children's consumption and you know your you'll eat them yourself and things like that why not for the gerbils obviously they have got they are pretty much just rice wheat and I forget the rest of the ingredients but they are pretty much um, pretty healthy and hardly any sugar in them and also there's some cornflakes in here um, but so the hamsters probably get these every three days and I'll normally just pop in like two or three of the Cheerios into the food and the gerbils get this every day at the moment however that will change pretty soon as they are eating all the mix now so I'll probably like only give them these every few days they also get Weetabix, which I've just used up, but the gerbils love Weetabix, um, and the hamsters actually quite like that. But as they grow and as they get older, they'll probably only get these as a treat. But for now, I don't mind adding them to the daily diet. Um, another thing I give them every day is grass seed. Now, I give them grass seed every day for various reasons. Um, the first reason is that they absolutely love grass seed. The second reason is that this is what they're going to be eating in the wild. Natural grass seeds will make up pretty much all of a lot of Mongolian gerbils diet, especially the ones that are living towards the desert areas. And hamsters will, uh, in the wild, they'll probably not eat as much grass seed as the gerbils, but again it's made up of similar seeds, grasses and root and flower seeds, things like that especially towards the autumn winter times um probably mainly in the winter and spring early spring when they don't have an abundance of the other types of seeds and plants that they eat they will actually dig up um similar grass seeds like this so they get them every day i probably like give them a pinch so probably like this much every day and in my opinion I think they're an excellent thing to add to the daily diet. Um, dried mealworms, I give these every day to both of the hamsters and the gerbils because I think it's an excellent sort of source of meat protein and they really like them. This is the hamster's favourite thing in the world. Um, nothing beats mealworms, they absolutely love them. I probably give them, a, I'll probably give them mealworms every other day once they're fully grown um, as they can be high in fat if they eat a lot of them I'll probably give them like two or three a day and the last thing that I do give them in the diet every day is um, well probably every other day actually I don't give them every day is dried herbs and things because they have various properties so I've got in here I've got mint, basil Time. There's a mixed herbs and there's what else is in there? Basil, thyme, coriander, and I give them these every few days just because they have excellent properties and um, they really like them. And I think it's a good thing to add to the diet. So yeah, that's pretty much what they get. Um, every two days, I give the hamsters and. Um, I give the hamsters and the gerbils carrots or cabbage, herbs, basil, mint, parsley, so basically like fresh food. 
and they get treats. The hamsters hardly ever get treats because they're just quite they're quite greedy really and they'll eat all the food. But they'll probably get them every few days. But um the next video I make will be on hamster treats, so stay tuned for that. Um so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's kind of like a quick overview. It's not really like massively in depth because I think quantities is definitely down to each hamster and I don't want to be responsible for someone's hamster not getting enough or getting too much but this is what I give my gerbils about this much daily and this is what each hamster gets daily but definitely try not to overfeed especially um, hamsters, mine are hybrids so they are prone to diabetes and putting on weight so try not to overdo the food and definitely don't fill it halfway off to the top even Syrians shouldn't be getting that much um, and there's a lot of overfeeding going on where hamsters are concerned in my opinion but yeah, um, so I hope you enjoyed this quick overview I will list the ingredients to my homemade like um, it's almost like a feed supplement at the minute because they get it every couple of days the hamsters I'll list the ingredients below um, and you can get all of these ingredients from health food shops or most pet shops will stock the seeds and wild bird feed mixes things like that so I'll list the ingredients below if anyone wants to try and make this or just wants ideas of what they could maybe add to their hamsters diet so thanks for watching and um, please comment below if you have any questions or if there's anything I haven't covered in the diet that you might want to know, um, they also get the probably only other thing that they get um, daily is twigs. I give them apple and pear twigs daily, and the ha hamsters do quite like to chew the, and eat the bark off that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.